Now the accuracy of this new unit is uh, quoted as uh, basic DC volts as 0.05% plus one digit. And that's really very good. That's a very high spec and it, and it certainly meets it. Um, it certainly meets it by a mile. And the key figure there though is the plus one count. Um, a lot of uh, cheaper meters, you can get um, cheaper, you know, uh, lesser name brand ones on the market, and they're also 0.05% or thereabout, but they'll be like plus four or plus five counts. And really, you've got to factor that in to your uh, measurement um, accuracy calculations when you're using these things. So it's something to watch out for. This one's got a really nicely spec plus one count, and I like it. Now you can probably see the actual um, LCD display here. It's, it's, the digits are much bigger than the previous series and it's, it's really nice and bright. Um, it's a very nice display and it's got a really nice backlight. I'll switch off the ambient lights here and I'll, it's got a nice two level blue backlight if you can see that. And, um, and that really is uh, very neat for uh, low light work. In, you know, if you're in some part of the factory that hasn't got much lighting, it's a really nice LCD display. And you can see it from halfway across the lab. It's fantastic. Now, one big improvement over the previous series, I think, is that you can now switch to four and a half digit display mode without having to, um, you know, turn the, machine, turn the thing off and, and hold down a button when you power it up. Now, you just hold down the uh, light switch here for two seconds and bingo you're in four and a half digit display mode now um, that's really handy and you can switch back of course anytime you want and you don't have to change ranges or switch the meter off now talking about power on options um, usually fluke have written on the back um, what the power on options are but this new one doesn't it's crazy it says if you can read it refer to manual for additional capabilities that's crazy why etch that in there and not etch in the real capabilities is just is silly okay standard multimeter test how fast is the continuity buzzer let's try it out i've got it in continuity mode sitting here and let's touch the probes and it really captures that pretty quick but i have actually been able to get it to miss once or twice but generally it's pretty darn quick so that's a great continuity test mode thumbs up it's also got a whole uh, slew of um, uh, measurement recording type functions. So it's got min-max display mode. You can hold that down and it'll actually sit there and it'll capture your min-max mode. And then it's got a peak mode. You can switch it into high-speed peak mode and it captures um, very fast transients down to 250 microseconds. That's really handy for troubleshooting um, things. You can just set it, forget it, and come back and bingo, you capture the glitch. It's really neat. It's also got the usual functions these days. It measures capacitance, but it does it pretty good. It's um, plus minus one percent accuracy, which is which is pretty good for a cap meter. It's it's actually really quite good. It measures frequency, uh, but it only goes to um, 200 kilohertz, I think, which isn't very high. So it's not a it's not a great frequency counter, but it's handy. Um, it does duty cycle percentages. Now there's another really neat feature they've added to it um, on the AC measurement range here, um, it's actually got a low pass uh, filter function. So you just press shift and um, it, it actually shows you that there's a low pass filter mode is in and, and it filters out high frequency crap. So that's, that's really quite handy. Now the um, screen updating is really quick on this new model. Um, it's uh, four times per second in um, 6000 count mode and um, it only drops to three times per second in four and a half digit mode. So it's a really fast, responsive meter. It's one of the best on the market, really. Okay, so let's um, have a look at the back and inside of this thing. Um, as I said before, it's actually got a battery um, uh, access panel now, so you can actually access your standard 9-volt battery. You can't get to the fuses from in here, unfortunately. But um, let's try and open the unit now. Now let's have a look inside the unit. We've got two um, HRC fuses. These are really nice. Now um, they've actually got a, um, a shield in plastic um, enclosure for um, immunity from RF, external RF interference, which is quite nice. They've actually got the uh, range functions printed in here, which is um, quite a nice little touch. And you can't see much else, but it's, if you actually have a poke under 
there. You can uh, just see the standard um, fluke quality construction and the, the hybrids and the very nice soldering. They're actually still made in the US. Um, these aren't made in China. They're made in the US of A, as I think it says on the back somewhere. Yes, made in USA. There it is. Stars and stripes all the way. And, but that really does, it means they can actually keep their um, manufacturing quality really tight and um, very repeatable and they use prime spec parts, yet another metal um, shield in case which is really nice and the solder joints as you'd expect from a fluke are absolutely first class and you can see the uh, high voltage um, uh, actual slot there for high voltage isolation. Um, which is, you know, really nice touch and um, yeah, it's, it's just a real quality device. You really get a lot of confidence using this thing. Okay, let's actually measure the um, power consumption of this thing. Uh, it's got a claimed 400 hours uh, life of the battery, so let's actually measure the um, current. It's 1.1 milliamps at, um, you know, on most of the ranges. It doesn't really uh, change too much. That's um, standard, and let's measure the uh, backlight, shall we? Switch on the backlight, and it takes 14.8 milliamps. Um, let's go up a range, and if you go to the highest backlight range, 33 milliamps. So it really sucks the juice if you have that backlight on. Okay, now we've let the meter auto switch off, and we've measured the uh, battery current at 34 microamps. That's actually reasonably high. Um, so it does draw, you know, a fairly significant current when it's in sleep mode. Now, if we actually switch the meter off, it, of course, drops down to completely zero. So, yeah, the moral of that is make sure you switch it off and not just let it go into power down mode, especially for long periods of time. And the um, case is just as strong as it's always been. You can really feel it's nice and solid and rigid. And especially when you put it inside the uh, the holster, it's just, you know, it's bulletproof, you know. It, there's no wonder they can uh, drop these things from, you know, the, the roof of a house and onto concrete. They survive. They're just rugged as. Now, this retails for around 350 US, I think, something like that. You can, you can get it around the $300 mark, I believe, but... Um, uh, which is excellent value for money. It's got the Fluke Lifetime Warranty, of course, their famous lifetime warranty. And really, you know, you buy one of these things and you know it's going to last you for, you know, it, you know decades. It's, it's really going to be um, a stable, precision instrument you can trust. And it's worth spending the money to get a quality meter like this. It's, it's not uh, the most, you know, the Fluke 80 series is probably the most popular multimeter ever sold. Um, you know, maybe apart from the, Fluke, the famous Fluke 70 um, series, they may have sold a few more of those, but, um, you know, this is like, you know, it's been around for several decades, and, you know, there's a reason why it's the best on the market, the best selling on the market. It is superb quality. It's, you know, it's feature-packed, hasn't got a huge um, number of features compared to some of the other cheaper models, but they put them in as a bit of a wank factor, really. But everything on it works, and it works really well, you can be confident in it. It's great. I give it the thumbs up. The Fluke 87.5. You should really get one of these if you're serious about electronics. It's great. It'll last you forever. Now, just one little tip. Uh, the 87.5, the Series 5, isn't a massive step over the Series 3 or the um, original 87. And you can actually pick up the a uh, Fluke 87 or a Fluke 80 series um, in the previous Model 3 or, or the original model and you can actually uh, pick those up quite cheap second hand on eBay. Um, they go for like you know 100 to 150 dollars and if you're if you're really lucky you'll get you can score a um, you know a Fluke 80 series under a hundred bucks and they're, so they're really worth trying to pick one up if if your budget doesn't quite stretch to you know over 300 dollars so keep that in mind.